Hi, this is Mike Swanson and I'd like to walk you through a tutorial for using the AI to Canvas plugin for Adobe Illustrator. Now I've already downloaded the plugin and extracted it to my plugins folder, and in this case I'm running Adobe Illustrator CS5 for the PC. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new document by choosing File, New. I'll name the document Tutorial, and accept the rest of the defaults by clicking OK. Now one handy tip is to make sure that you're viewing the document at 100%, because this will most accurately represent what you see when you finally export it to a canvas. For the next step, I'm either going to draw a rocket ship, or in my case, I'll actually open some artwork that I downloaded from Clicker.com. Now this is vector-based artwork, this is not a bitmap. So I will select all of this artwork, choose Edit, Copy, move to my tutorial document, and choose Edit, Paste to paste it as a brand new layer. I'll double-click the layer name, and give it a name of rocket with an opening parentheses, a closing parentheses, and a semicolon, just like you'd see in a JavaScript function name. Then I'll click OK. Now I'll pull down the file menu and select export, and one of the new file formats that's been added by the plugin is called Canvas. I'll export this to my tutorial folder by clicking Save. Now the plugin exported very fast and then popped up my HTML file in my default browser, and in this case that's Internet Explorer 9. Now what we're seeing rendered here is not just a rasterized bitmap of that vector artwork. It is actual vectors being drawn on a canvas. So let's right click and choose View Source. I've set it up so that Visual Studio 2010 shows me my source, and we see the basic HTML5 document that was exported. Now there's a couple things that are worth pointing out in this document. There's an initialization function that gets called when the page loads. The first thing it does is it gets a reference to the canvas element that's on the document. Then it uses that to get a reference to the 2D drawing context on the canvas. And then because we called our layer rocket, it's created a function called rocket that it passes the context into. And if we look down, we'll see that it uses that context to draw to the canvas. So that's the end of the first part of the tutorial. And what we've seen is that you can take vector-based artwork, and using the plugin, export that to an HTML5 canvas.